And thank you, Eddie. Well, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, and our next guest has dedicated half of his life serving our city as well as the students on the Lehman College campus. We welcome now Senior Sergeant Samuel Gonzalez, who was also awarded with the Outstanding Campus Police Award during a recent ceremony at the Lehman College Convocation. And uh, good to have you, bro. Thank you, thank you. And I have to say, I, this is, I've known this man for quite some time. 25 years. Yeah. 25 years, that's how long I've been here, so we've just dated us. You dated me and you should have told everybody that, but yeah, 25 years. and. Honestly, you've given, as I said, more than half of your life to really doing this. Uh, talk to us a little bit about, you know, your passion for keeping people safe. Um, actually, um, I've always, I'm a Lehman lifer. I've been on this campus about 29 years, including going to school here. And a few years ago, the incident happened in Sandy Hook, the active shooter incident in 2012. And uh, my chief, Fausto Ramirez, came to me one day and he says, listen, we need to make a change. We need to do something drastic. He goes, this can never happen here on our campus. So myself and my partner, Sergeant Rosari, he's at Bronx Community now, we came up and we started looking into things that we can do. We came up with some impromptu things, our child care facility access to come do a little, little thing with them. And we did something and showed people how to stay safe and everything. We said, ah, we need to make it official. Our vice president was nice enough to send us to a training in North Amherst, Massachusetts. It's called, uh, the program is called ALICE. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. It's a program geared to civilians for civilians. Me, I have my gun, I have my vest, I have my, my training. What do you have if an active shooter or hostile intruder were to come here in the Bronx Nest studio? Mm -hmm. You have a phone to call 911. That's not enough. Some people come to me and say, oh, I would play dead. The only problem with playing dead is you'd probably have to get shot first. I don't know about you, but if I'm sitting there with a hole in me, I couldn't stay there nice and calm and wait for help to come. So we teach people and we train people what to do, how to do it, things that you can use. You have things in your pocket, on your body, that you can use to help defend yourself. God forbid there was an active shooter, a hostile intruder that came into your life. This happens in airports, hospitals, schools. And I just mentioned a few places. I've gone to child care facilities all over the city, other schools, other colleges. Um, we've gone out of state and helped participate in training. And you figure after all these things, and they're getting closer, there's some CUNY people that have been involved in some of these major incidents throughout the last few years. You figure once, oh, this guy went to BMCC, or this guy attended Host Host Community College, it's coming close to home. Connecticut is right down the road. Mm -hmm. So you figure after this, you know, nobody's really doing anything. So we did this Alice program. We were the first in New York to do it, and we're happy that we do it here at Lehman. How has the landscape changed? Because, I mean, obviously, 25 years ago, things were a whole lot different than they are today. What have you noticed as, in terms of some of the major changes in terms of about campus policing because I mean you used to come to campus and things were things were rather safe. Yeah, I mean um, actually it's funny you say that um, through all the the training that we take and the case studies that we do it's safe. Lehman is actually the safest campus three years running in the CUNY system but there's some incidents out there that the one in Virginia Tech a few years ago in 98 and um, people sit there and they say um, hey listen 32 people were shot and killed and the guy was a full-time matriculated student on the college campus that lived in the dorm. So it wasn't an outsider. These are not people just coming randomly. These are people that sit there and calculate and plan their attacks. So it's stuff that's been going on for quite a long time. You'd be surprised. Yes, uh, and it has been. Um, I want to talk a little bit about you for a moment, as we said. Tell us a little bit about you and, 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 and what got you into law enforcement. Um, actually, I was a student here. I wanted, to, I wanted to be a teacher, actually. I wanted to coach baseball and do all that stuff. And believe it or not, I made too much money one summer. <laughs> I lost my financial aid. I had to go get a job. I got a security job working at Einstein College. A friend of mine was working there. He says, hey, I'm coming back to Lehman. Why don't you come with me? At that time, we had contract security guards here. So I came here. Somebody says, hey, in six months, this is going to be a civil service job. Why don't you take the test? I took the test and been here ever since, 24 years in counting. What are some of your most memorable experiences of being here? Um, we've had President Obama was here last year. Uh, we've had Hillary Clinton here, Supreme Court, Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor. Um, we've had all kinds of concerts, Mark Anthony, Aventura, Prince Royce, all kinds of movie shoots and TV shows. I met Tupac here, Rosie Perez, Beyonce. Lehman is, Lehman is on the map. A lot of people come through here. Yeah. And it's Even up. in Bronx and Studio, I met Red Alert a couple of years ago, DJ Red Alert. So mm -hmm. there's always something going on. Oh, we Lehman. always bring people through here. You got, you got to know that. What advice do you give people in terms of, you know, a career in law enforcement? I mean, we heard in our last segment talk a little bit about Black yeah. Lives Matter and, 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 and the tension that's out there. But I also think there has to be a certain amount of diversity in that workplace. Yeah, I mean, especially for the young people. I mean, all these young guys are running around again, tattoos on their hands and their necks and their face. And, and, and a lot of people, they... they is the young culture, and they need to think about the future. When I was 16, 15, 16, my father told me, he says, listen, you take every civil service exam that comes out. 
you know, get your driver's license. My father didn't drive. Just get your driver's license. Take the exams. Make sure you have clean urine. Don't take drugs. Don't smoke weed. Because in order to get a good, any job that you're going to get that's worthwhile, you're going to have to take a drug test. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that probably could be out there and be good cops and firemen and corrections officers, but they're doing, the, they're doing the wrong things, and they don't even get that opportunity. That doesn't mean they're stupid people, but they're not, not doing the right thing to find themselves in a civil service or law enforcement position. And, uh, you know, and I, and I want to talk to you a little bit about that award celebration. What does it mean for you to be able to be honored right here on campus, right here by with your um, peers? Actually, I was pretty humbled. I, I mean, I knew it was a big deal because it's a, it's a once a year thing. We just have a brand new president, Dr. Cruz. So it was a pretty special convocation anyway. And um, the, ovation, the ovation that I got when I stood up to go receive the award on stage and I felt warm inside. It humbled me. I, I can talk well, and talk now, and yeah. talk and talk. And um, I was, I, I was kind of speechless. If they would have gave me the microphone, I might have been speechless for the first time in my life. But I love to talk. Well, we saw, we saw the picture just there of the video of you actually receiving the award uh, in the presence of your colleagues and stuff like that. So going forward, what advice do you give to somebody who's actually doing this job? And, you know, you've had some great success with it. You've had many years with it. What advice do you give to people who are on the job? On the job, just stay neutral, stay loyal, um, cover, your, cover your behind, make sure you do the right thing. And uh, like the gentleman was talking about Black Lives Matter, you know, all lives matter. And, you know, just keep doing the right thing. If you do the right thing and stay by the rules and regulations, You'll be, you'll be all right. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming by. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank and, you, you know, again. You've been, you've been around for years. Took care of me. So right. thank you. All right. Sar uh, Senior Sergeant Gonzalez, we thank him for being with us. Listen, we want you to stay tuned. We got more show coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back in a few moments.